Hi, Mark. Hi, John. Tell us about this uh, anechoic chamber. Uh, well, this is our third anechoic chamber. Uh, it's the largest uh, anechoic chamber for use in the speaker industry in North America. Uh, it comes in at about uh, 36,000 cubic feet, uh, which is about the size of a standard two-story house. Uh, what you're looking at here are seven foot two inch fiberglass wedges that are glued to an outside wall. Uh, from that outside wall there's about a six inch air gap and from that air gap uh, starts the outside of the factory. So this is actually a building located within a building. How much does it cost to build this thing? Oh, uh, at least a million dollars. I mean this is the, the third one we've had. The second one cost, uh, or came in about that. Uh, we had to do a lot of renovations for this one. Uh, because we built this factory from ground up, uh, it might have been a little bit more cost efficient. So when a speaker is tested, uh, tell me how that works. Well, what we do is we hook up, uh, hook up the speaker on this platform. We have a uh, B&K calibrated microphone uh, out in the space here, which will line up at tweeter height. And then what we do is we measure the speaker at every 15 degrees, uh, right from the back of the speaker all the way to the front. And then we flip the speaker on its side and measured all the way from 15 degrees all the way up from the bottom all the way to the top. I take it nobody's in the room when the testing's being done? No, we actually we have a uh, safety line right across uh, this yellow line you'll see on the floor and nobody should be in here. It doesn't really make that much of a difference when the testing's being done if someone's standing off to the side. Uh, but we're so isolated from the factory there might be tow motors that are you know maybe 20 feet or 30 feet from us here and we can't hear a thing.